Hey everyone, welcome back. I have another video here. This time it's a little bit different than the battle reports. It's a conversion and painting walkthrough. Some of the bits I used. Um, one of the things, obviously, use your, your infantry of choice. Uh, if you're using a historically scaled model, I definitely would lean towards making sure you can at least get a hand on some of the Mantic Games uh, Veerman backpack. The paints, if you like what I did and painted up at the end, then your uh, here's how I got there. Some of the models needed. So these are just some of the Warlord uh, Russian Soviet infantry right off the sprue. The models, uh, the one on the left and the right, won't require any conversion. The guy in the middle here, uh, we're going to have to do some cutting on. Uh, you'll see that later. This is what the uh, Mantic uh, Veerman backpack looks like, just right off the sprue as is the uh, rifle uh, that you're going to end up needing or at least if you want to uh, replicate this uh, 100% why I chose the Mantic so when you see it just on a side-by-side -side comparison it's the the Imperial Guard Games Workshop while it's a little bit easier to get a hold of um, it's it's just going to be scaled all wrong um, it's historically scaled Warlord stuff is a uh, or heroically scaled warlord is historic and uh, it's just it's just kind of just off especially when you see it next to the the body you can tell it's just um, for me it's a little bit large um, if you're willing to go down the rabbit hole of doing a lot of conversions <clears throat> I think it could be uh, I think it could work you'd almost just pretty much have to cut off from here down but that, that seemed uh, getting that leveled out and whatnot um, a little bit more work and effort than um, that I th that I think you would get out of it, which is why I just went with the Mantic one. Um, it scaled and sized uh, much better for the his, um, uh, historically scaled models. So coming off the sprue, just trimming off the extra hose, and um, you don't have to do anything to him to the front, but on the back you're going to have to do a little bit of cutting to uh, get rid of that backpack and then kind of level them out. On the Mantic one, you're going to need to, uh, there's some little rises here on the backpack. You're going to have to cut those down and then kind of just level it out. The rifle, uh, just make some cuts. Uh, the Obviously cut off the bar part of the barrel, the uh, clip, and the uh, the bolt. Putting them all the putting all the guys together. So here's just two of the models I did. Um, again, I did drill out the barrels. Normally, I don't for the the models of this size. Uh, they're weapons, but after you cut it back, um, it's big enough you can you can drill down there fairly easily. Uh, one thing you are going to need to do or be aware of is when choosing your gauge of wire. There's a fine line between having it look right when you connect to the the tank versus getting it to connect to the weapon this gauge I actually had to trim back the insulation a little bit uh, that way I wasn't drilling too large of a hole into the rifle um, so I had to peel back the insulation so a little bit of the copper stuck out that I then drilled into the rifle and gave a uh, something so it can glue in and hold here's some again the, the shots the uh, one thing you also want to make uh, make your aware of like on these points here as I was roping it around anywhere I could you know make it connect that way I can glue it on there because of how how weak generally weak the connection of here is compared to say the other joints uh, anything you can do to kind of glue and support that wire um, is better here's what there are there they are painted if you like uh, the color scheme um, earlier, <coughs> earlier is uh, I walk or list list the paints I used. Again, um, I think the uh, the tanks look appropriate for for somebody of the scale trying to c uh, carry, and this is a fairly quick um, quick job. Just looking to get them to tabletop. That way we can um, you know get get them out there sooner. I only did these first two. Um, I wanted to test them out and actually see how some of the infantry ones worked. I, I've not, I've had plenty of them used against my forces, so uh, I thought I would um, 
uh, create some so I can actually start uh, giving them a go. I also, uh, with the latest Resurgence book, they had all the different uh, platoons, so I wanted to kind of um, get a, a reason, so like for the uh, assault platoon where it has two flamethrowers, well I wanted to include two because you know it's one of those things like well why am I going to take that platoon if I'm not going to capitalize on whatever it, whatever it is its focus is whether it's the assault engineers or the um, the mortars for the veterans so that was or the, the the light the scout cars for the airborne so it's okay whatever whatever platoon I want to take I want to be able to max out the the parts that make them you know special in this case if I want to go assault um, then I'll, I'll go with the uh, at least two flamethrowers, if not more, in the uh, squads. Again, that's just a, a quick, quick and dirty walkthrough on uh, how I got there. If uh, any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And thanks for your time.